And that's the reason you people have the problems in this country you have today. Because this is the way you behave. Because of the way you no, because of the way you behave. You don't have the problems you have because of the way I behave, genius. Get it straight. Your problems come from the way you behave and the way your boys in blue behave. That's why the thin blue line's getting cracked in half these days. You guys are a mess, bro. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press, and we are coming to you from Pocatello, Idaho. Uh, and we uh, driving down the road here and just see all this uh, police activity. So we're going to stop, take a look, and see what's going on. Stand by. Is that if we walk through? Fair enough. Thank you. Where are you headed? Sorry? Where are you going? Oh, just doing my thing. No particular place to go, like they say. Oh, are you filming this? Right now I am, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you just wanted to walk through. Well, I did, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to go around. Stand there on the sidewalk or whatever. All right. It's not in the middle of the road. We want you to get hit. Well, your Sarge just told me to walk in the road. I just didn't want him to walk through your crime scene. I'm talking to your sergeant, so just pay attention to what he tells right you and you'll be fine. On the sidewalk. Okay. I just don't want you in the road. Is well, I'm, I'm following your directions, yeah, I aren't I? Okay. Yeah, just right there by my car. All right, but when I get conflicting directions from yeah, two different officers, that gets that a little confusing. It is. I'll show you where it is right here. Oh, I think I'm good here on the sidewalk. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Already been confirmed. Watch out, those pieces fly up, it's gonna hurt. Okay. So uh, evidently this uh, came in as a burglary call and the gentleman with the black cap on is uh, being investigated for possibly stealing some items out of the building here. What's your buddy doing calling my plate in? You know it's illegal to do that unless you have cause? So I'm gonna need names and badge numbers now so I can file complaints. Just not on the road, I don't want you to get hit. Yeah, it's all right, don't worry about me. You take care of yourself, I'm good. I'm gonna need you to identify yourself. I'd like a business card from you. time to go stand out of my crime scene or I'm gonna arrest you? I'm not in your crime scene. Okay. You just ran my plate and I need your ID. Okay, go over there. Would you identify yourself? You for your sergeant told me I could stand anywhere on the sidewalk go I want. Over there. I'm gonna arrest you for impeding my arrest. Sir, I'd like you to identify yourself. Otherwise, I'm gonna file charges against you for not identifying yourself. 
I'm hearing you, Mr. Amos, but I would like you to identify yourself. Yeah. I need your badge number okay, and I'll be happy. Stand over there. I'm not in your investigation, yes, you sir. Are. My investigation where do you is where right do you here. want me to stand? I want you to stand where she is. Go, go continue. I need you to identify I'm yourself. I'm talk to her too, sir. Go continue your stuff, I'll talk to her. Sir, I need you to identify yourself. To no, here. I want you to identify hey, sir, yourself. Come over here. I'll what talk is to his you. name? Identify you want, yourself. You want me, I'm Officer Namohala. I'll talk to you right here. I'll give you I my need card. his name and his information. Everyone for you. That gentleman just went and ran the plate on my car. Talk to you? No, you I stop talking. I'm not interested in you talking to me. I'm interested in your people acting professional and identifying That's themselves. What I'm to do he with just you. illegally ran my stop plate talking. number. I know the law. Okay. Okay, you guys are violating my rights, you're okay. violating the law, and you I need him to identify himself. In this situation, correct? Listen, you're a waste of my time. Okay. You have a good day, bro. I'll talk to you. Now you can you're not you're just talking shit and I don't want to hear it. I'll be civil with you. You're not trying to be civil at all. You people are running an illegal shit show here and we're gonna expose the hell out of you yeah that's right sergeant your officer here is refusing to identify himself he just went over and ran the plate on my car for absolutely no reason and i need his identification before you leave i'm standing right where you told me to stand back up right there in front of my car i think i'm pretty good right here please back up just in front of my car i don't know how far this crime scene goes how far does it go i think it at least goes right in front of my car all right i need him to identify himself no problem go right in front of my car please i'm i think i'm in a good spot I don't know how far this crime I'm scene I'm standing goes. on a public sidewalk and I think yes, I'm in a good spot. But I think it's part of a crime scene. I'm not interfering with your crime scene. Please stand just in front of my Please. car. Please. It's, it's two feet that way. Please have your officer identify himself. I and will, then I, and then I, I will stand. I will get all have him in. identify himself and I'll go stand in front of your car. How about that? We'll I, meet in the middle. I, okay, what did you Fair enough. Listen, just, your just, officer. Just tell me your first name. Your officer's a public employee. He yes. needs to identify you're, himself. You're absolutely and right. And he just illegally ran the plate on my truck. You're, you're absolutely so right. So I. You're, you're absolutely so right. I you're, you're absolutely so I need his name I and just, badge number for my complaint. The crime scene you want you want to be involved with my complaint as well? Yes. You do. Please okay. stand just ten feet there. Officer Amos, That's I'm asking you for the last time to, to identify yourself. I need your badge number. That's all I'm asking you to do. He's Officer Amos. Don't tell what is your badge department. number? His badge number is 5284. He can't speak for himself. I'm speaking for him. 5284. Can you just, move just out of the crime scene. Why did zone? you? I'm not in your crime scene. We don't know your how far it goes. Your crime scene's over right there. Now. I know how far it goes. Your crime scene's over there. Why did you just run my plate? Sir, please step back. What was the back. purpose? I am step back. Please just back to the front of my car. It's just Sir, a few yeah, feet. I'll take a step back. Just there you go. Just a few feet. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Now I need to know Thank why you. you just ran my plate. Sir, do you not speak? Are you like mute or something? You people are going to be in a mess, dude. You really are. I'm first of Lewis. What kind of shit police are you people running here, man? So you're you're used to dealing with people that don't know the rules, huh? Answer you. I would like to know why he just ran the plate on my car. So stop talking over me. I'm going to stop talking if that's what you're going to answer. That's what I'm trying to. You got 30 seconds. Go. Yes. Go. Okay. Because we can. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You have absolutely no reason. I'm following orders from your sergeant. I stood where he told me to stand. I did what he told me to do. No, he's asking you to walk back. See, there's always a rogue officer involved in some shit, man. You're going to get the rest of your people in trouble here, dude. Okay. Your people got to follow rules. You have absolutely no legal basis to run my plate. Okay. You don't. And I'm going to follow. Come on. What's your badge number? 5283. 5283 officer. Namo Hala. Namo Hala. Very good. How are we doing, Johnson? I did not know you. What's your badge number? 5306. 5306. You hang out with these bunch of fools? Yeah. Well, that's your problem, isn't it? Yeah. Bunch of tyrants. That's what you got here in this town. Pocatello. That's why you people got the reputation you have. I drove all the way here from Colorado to find out if it was true, and within five minutes, you proved yourself to be the as you have the reputation to be in. Sorry you feel that way. No, it's not the way I feel. And you have no idea how many people are going to see this video. Perfect. Yeah, I have about 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. You guys are about to get blown up with your YouTube None of your business. I'm curious. None I'm of your damn business. I don't care what you are. I'm curious to know why you just ran my plate. Because we can. No, you cannot. What crime do you suspect me of committing? You brought yourself in the situation. No, I didn't. I walked wow. up and I asked if I could please walk through and your sergeant said walk around the street and then you started barking at me. You pe I don't care who I'm talking over. Okay. I don't give a damn who I'm talking over. I'll, I'll s*** all day long. How's that for you? You guys ain't running your time show on me, man. You picked the wrong guy today. You better go deal with your criminal over there. I can't. Go violate his rights. No. 
you ain't out here with nobody. I walked up to the sidewalk. I asked your sergeant if I could walk through. He said, walk around in the road. You then started barking at me not to get you in the road. You people don't even know what you're talking about. I was letting you know. Just get off the road. You're giving me bad information. I could walk in the road all I want. What are you going to do about it? Damn thing. You can't stand in the middle of the road. Yes, I can. I can stay in the road all day long. I know. Yeah, don't say anything. Yeah, that's good advice there. Don't say anything. Why open your mouth and prove yourself to be a moron? Because you're trying to agitate them. Yeah, I'm trying to agitate. Okay, you people agitated me. You're violating all kinds of rules and regulations. What's your policy say about running people's plates? Right, sir, can I have one of you come with me for a second? Absolutely not. Come with me. No, I'm good. Okay. What do you want me to come I, with I you want, for? I want you to look at that window down there. Okay. Do you see how it's broken? No, let's go look at okay, it. Okay, let's go look at it. And you know what, Sarge, real quick, can, can we just do something real quick before you show me this window? Yeah. Can we just all both take a deep breath here and de-escalate this for a second? Yeah, I don't have any And problem. start all, no, seriously, yeah, you do. I'm being sincere with you. I want to start okay. all over again and act normal. Okay. And I, and I want you to answer a few questions for me after I listen to you. Okay. Okay, I'll listen to you first and then you answer a couple just questions me for me. let me first, okay? Well, I'm, I'm over here because you invited so, me to come over yeah. here and look at this. So, we, we got a call here because someone is breaking into this building. It looks like he might have broken this window too. So when I asked you to step back, that's really what I was doing. I didn't know how big the crime scene was. He didn't it break looks this. now like it may have come this far. This window? Yes. You're, you're so let, you're, you're, where's the glass? So let, where's the glass? So let me Where's the glass? You're making it up as you go along. Where's the glass? Just Where's I'm, the I'm, glass? I'm just uh, listen, purpose, I'm okay. no detective and I can tell you right, right. now you're completely he didn't break this window. Where's the glass? Maybe he didn't break the no, window. No, he absolutely did not. Investigate it and he I'll absolutely find out. did not. Okay, so just wait here. No, just this wait, has nothing to do with your crime just scene. That's wait outside the crime this scene. This is old please. vandalism, obviously. There's no glass, sir. Okay. Where's the glass? You, you might be right about that. I am absolutely right. I'm going to go to the sidewalk. Yeah, wait out here. Where's it? I'm going to go to the. No, you can't keep pushing me further back. Yes. You told me to stay in front of your car. Yes. That's I think where I'm standing. Maybe at least go to that window. You told me to stay in front of your car. I'm expanding it. Okay. When are you going to answer the question about why he ran my plate? I will answer it when I get done investigating the crime. Well, I'll there's, move when you get no, done no, no. investigating the crime. Huh, what, no, are no. you going to come back in a minute and tell me to go down to the corner? If I walk around the rest of the building and there's more Do damage, Do you still yes. believe that this is part of this crime scene? I don't know yet. I'm Where's the glass? The Where's the glass? You're full You people are it, dude. It's absolutely ridiculous. You think you're so intimidating, right? Tough guy with a badge and a gun. Okay, and so are you. And I have zero respect for you. And that's the reason you people have problems in this country you have today. Because this is the way you behave. Because of the way you no, because of the way you behave. You don't have the problems you have because of the way I behave, genius. Get it straight. Your problems come from the way you behave and the way your boys in blue behave. That's why the thin blue line's getting cracked in half these days. You guys are a mess, bro. I'm all about good policing, but this show you got going on here. Absolute, you should be ashamed of yourself. Seriously, it's ridiculous. You're gonna to try to tell me that that's part of this crime scene? If he just broke that window, where's the glass on the ground? Where's the glass on the windowsill? Come on, man, how stupid do you think people are? Six months in academy and you think you're gonna outsmart somebody that's 50 years old? Bro, I'm old enough to be your father. You don't even know what you're talking about. Make up as you go along. And then you're gonna tell me I'm agitating. Good way to turn it around, bro. Why don't you do something to further the res reputation of your department? Maybe try to elevate your department. You're a young guy. Why don't you work on that? Seriously, I'm being sincere with you. Why don't you do something to foster a little community policing and a little community relations with law enforcement instead of doing this? Even at the worst case scenario, what do you got? Some guy was trying to steal something out of a building? This is not a murder scene. Nobody's in, no, no, there's nobody in fear for their life right now. There's no victim. He didn't break that window. I have zero training as a police officer, and I can tell you right now he didn't break that window. I'd put every dime I have in the bank on it. And you know he didn't break that window, and so does your sergeant. You just use that as an excuse to back me up another 20 feet. Right? Why don't you at least be honest with me and say, yeah, that's what we did. Now you have nothing to say. I have nothing to say when they're wrong. It's amazing. Holes only open up when it's about to come out. Right? What are you going to do if I walk past you? Arrest you. You're going to arrest me if I walk past you. So yes, you're sir. you're preventing me from walking down the sidewalk. Why? Then you're obstructing the investigation. Why don't you put up some crime scene tape if you got a crime scene? 
Why don't you establish a scene? Where does the scene end? Am I in the scene right now? As of now, about here we're good. About here, but it was about there 10 minutes ago. And it was about a little further I've already away. already explained that to you. Your sergeant's completely f I've already explained that to you. Okay. And you know that's the truth. You know he didn't break that window today. Tell me I'm wrong. I don't know, because I'm dealing with you and not looking what did at you, that. Where's the glass? You're not. You're dealing with me and not looking at I that. Why? You know, you people bro. And that's the whole reason is because of your attitude. You're one of the tyrants and we just caught you. Yep. And I'm going to be up your like a f in, in disease, bro. I don't want that. Yeah, well, it's happening. It's happening. You're exactly the guy I was looking for when I came to Pocatello today. And here you are. You and your rot sergeant. And this officer refuses to identify himself. This is why you people have the problems you have in this country today. Don't you understand that? Or are you thick? Are you okay if I get your name? Absolutely not. Okay. Thank you. You guys want to fight it out, I'll film it for you. And you, I got zero respect for, man. You're a loser. You won't even identify yourself and you just went and illegally ran the plate on my car. What's that? Is that what you tell the judge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're in court, the judge says identify yourself and you just point at your tit? Really? How do you pronounce that? What does that say? It? I can't read. What does that say? I see there's an S in there. You want to pronounce it for me? And where's your badge number? You have to have your sergeant give it to me for you because you're too stupid to give out your badge number? Really? This is the problem with policing in this country today. Don't you get it? You need to foster good relations between yourselves and the citizenry. This crap is getting good officers killed. And it's your fault. How do you go home at night knowing you're out here getting good officers shot? How does that work? Huh? You go out and treat people like garbage and one of your good officers one day has to pay for it. How does that work in your mind? Never thought about that, did you? But well, you're gonna think about it tonight when you put your head on the pillow. You're gonna think about how this and the divide that you're creating between law enforcement and the citizenry, you people like you are creating it. That gun in that badge doesn't give you any right to treat anybody like garbage, man, even if they're committing a crime. I walked up very respectfully, stopped before your scene and said, is it okay if I walk through? Your sergeant said, walk around in the street, which is what I did. Then your other officer starts barking at me to get out of the street. The left hand doesn't even know what the right hand's doing, man. You guys are a joke. And you could stare at me with that face all day long, man. I have zero respect for you, zero fear of you, and I don't give a what you say. And if you arrest me, all you're going to do is give me a nice fat paycheck from the city of Pocatello. So you can knock yourself out with that for all I get. How's that sound? You want to just stare at each other all day? Hey, Amos. Yeah, go do something with your life, Amos. Move on. Before you get that stripe ripped off by somebody. And you're the youngest guy here, man. So you better pay attention and look at what's going on. You got a long career ahead of you. Okay? And there's a mess in this country with you people. And this is exactly what creates it. Why don't you start being part of the solution? Don't follow these around that are treating people like It's not necessary. And I know you're listening to me. I don't need you to say anything. Think about it. Think about it. Think about the kids that are going to grow up in this town. Think about how the people in this town picture you. You ever you ever go online and Google Pocatello Police? I did before I got here. You people have a horrible reputation. You ever wonder why that is? You think it's my fault? The stare is good. Why don't you take the sunglasses off and stare at me so I can see your eyes, dude? See, and I figured I'd talk to you a little calmly because you're one of the younger guys here, like I said. Maybe you're the future of this police department. Maybe you can do something to change this BS attitude these guys have. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll just fall in line and be following orders like the rest of them. Right? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And what are you going to do if I walk down a sidewalk? You're going to arrest me too? You will. Good. It's a shame. You know what, Officer Johnson? It really is. And when you look at me, you're going to figure out who I am, and you're going to watch my YouTube channel, and you're going to see all the wonderful cops and all the wonderful law enforcement that my son and I have come across in the past year and a half traveling this country, and all the wonderful interactions that we have. And it's a shame this one here today had to go this way. It really is. And I hope you stop and think about that before you do this to somebody else. Because a lot of people in this country don't know their rights, and you people bank on that crap. 
and it's not fair and it's not right and you're not doing your brothers in blue any favors okay because i'm telling you right now this is what gets good officers killed and it's got to stop you have to start treating citizens with respect you have to start communicating you have to start talking to people and you got to stop staring at people like you're some kind of tough guy authoritarian figure dude i don't give a damn about your gun and a badge i have no respect for you respect is earned it's not given and you people have earned zero respect today. And maybe you'll think about that. Maybe when I come back to Pocatello a few months down the road, maybe things will have changed. I doubt it. But you have that opportunity. So hey, I'm even going to break it down one step for you, okay? You guys have any interest in starting all over again and being cordial and de-escalating this whole thing and having a civil conversation? Are you interested in that or not at all? Seriously, I'll put my hand out and shake your hand. We can start all over again like none of this ever happened. And be civil with each other. And I'll treat you with respect that you think you deserve. And you treat me with the respect oh, I think I deserve. We won't see nothing else after that. So you're not interested in having a conversation. You're just interested in being a tyrant. That's it. Because you think that gun and that badge gives you some authority. You're just a man like I am, dude. No different. And I'm telling you right now, this crap that you people are pulling is what's getting you guys killed. It's what's getting good officers put into very bad situations. And I was just telling Officer Johnson here, this is my son. We've spent a year and a half traveling the country, having wonderful interactions with law enforcement officers. You're going to find my YouTube channel. You got my name already. Look it up. And you're going to see all the wonderful interactions we have. I have 200,000 subscribers and I have a 95% approval rating on my thumbs up rating on my channel because we have wonderful encounters with law enforcement, we have very productive conversations, and we've been traveling the country at our own expense doing this for a year and a half. Okay, but guys like you are the problem, the way you're acting right now. And if you've realized that in your mind, that's why I'm asking you if you want to start all over again, we can de-escalate and have a civil conversation. That's what policing's all about, in case they forgot to tell you that in Academy. You're not gonna nail me on anything, dude. I've never been arrested in my life. I don't even have a, a speeding ticket on my record. So you're not gonna nail me on So you can do all the background, looking up whatever you wanna do. You're wasting your time. So was that a no to the civil conversation? That's a no from you, Officer Johnson? You at least wanna give me that? You at least just wanna say, no, I'm not interested in having a conversation? Nothing, okay. I guess that's the way it goes in Pocatello. You guys made your own bed, dude. And I'm sure all the good police officers out there that watch my videos, because there's a lot of them, they're all gonna appreciate the way you people are behaving. Tremendously, you're doing them a real favor. Never mind the firemen, the EMS workers, and everybody else that we talk to. It's a shame, I'm, offering, I'm putting a hand out to you. I'm standing here where you told me to stand and I'm putting I'm extending an olive branch and I'll tell you I'll start all over again with you and we can have a civil conversation and we could even wind up walking away at the end of this shaking hands with a smile on our face maybe I'll have a little better understanding of you maybe you'd have a little better understanding of what I do but you're not interested in that because you know it all and you don't want to have the conversation right that's the problem and I see where it comes from it's all you know downhill so maybe you guys got a little bad direction in life it's a shame guys it really is it's a shame I'm standing here looking at the disease in this country in the two of your faces and you're gonna realize that one day I promise you these words are gonna haunt you you're gonna remember me telling you that something's gonna happen one day and you're gonna go he was right and you already know I'm right Biggest problem I see on this sidewalk right now are two egos. If you could just drop your shoulders for a second, drop the ego and get over yourselves, we might be able to leave this in a positive way. Isn't that a shame? But you're more interested in winning a staring contest. What are you, in like eighth grade? It's a shame, it really is a shame. I guess you don't like cameras on you, huh? You don't want people recording your scenes. I don't know. I mean, you gotta think about the stupidity of what just went on here. 
I hope you watch the video. Sergeant, your sergeant, trying to tell me that that man possibly just broke that window. Where's the glass, dude? That's about a 18 inch by one foot piece of glass missing out of that window. It would be broken all over the grass, all over the window. So where is it? That was cleaned up a long, long time ago, years probably. And you know it as well as I do because you've seen that window before. You patrol this neighborhood. You know what I'm talking about. You're gonna be a man of your word and talk to me when you're done? Sounds good. It really is a shame, dude. I mean, just from one guy to another. It really is a shame. It's a shame that this is the mess you people put yourselves in. And then when some citizen goes rogue and does some stupid some I mean, of you wind up hurt or killed, you sit there wondering why, scratching your heads. Oh, the poor boys in blue. Poor us, back to blue. I stand up for the blue that's right. Okay, I love good cops. I think this country absolutely needs good policing. And I'm not one of those people believing in defund the police. I believe in police reform. Because you guys have gotten your head so far up your can't even see what you're doing anymore. That's what your problem is. And you know I'm right. You absolutely know I'm right. And instead of making this situation right before it ends, you won't. Your ego is going to take control of you. I'm going to be right back, okay? But yeah, we'll see. Is this a uh, crime scene still happening here? Are we allowed to walk down the sidewalk yet? Or what's the story with that? No, you still trying to figure out if this glass was broken or... What are, what are you trying to figure out? Looks like he's being taken into custody to me and he's not even on the sidewalk anymore. So are we done now? Because obviously you gentlemen are not interested in talking. So can I walk back down the sidewalk to my car? No? So I can't go to my car? You can go to your car, but you go around that crime. No, you told me not to walk in the street. Now I don't want to walk in the street. What? I never once told you that. Your other officer told me not to walk in the street. It's all recorded, man. Let's not be ridiculous. You want to get to your car? You can walk around out of our crime scene to your car. So how far behind your vehicles is out of your crime scene? Because I don't want to step in it while I'm walking around the back of them. See that vehicle? You could go around it all the way to your car. Oh, so you want me to cross the street? That's the last thing I would say to you. There's no crosswalk here. What are you going to do? Write me a ticket for jaywalking? In the city of Oakland, there's no jaywalking law. There's no jaywalking law. Okay, good. And let my words haunt you. Think about what I told you. And I hope you straighten out so it ends. Oh, I'm good in the street. There's no crime scene anymore, man. Get a grip. Look, I'm walking in the street. Body da, dude. Don't get yeah, have fun. There's a car with gun, you guys. Yeah, don't kick him in. The He's in the cell. Don't punch him in the face or anything. You live here in Pocatello? Yeah, I do. You got some lousy police in this town, boy. Really? Oh my God, tyrants, dude, watch yourself. What happened? Somebody was trying to steal a battery or something out of this building and they're just they're acting like it's the crime of the century. I see. Yeah, so just watch your backs with these guys, man. If the cameras weren't rolling, you probably would have driven by and seen me all bloodied up on the street. Really? It's oh yeah, bad? oh, it's that bad, yeah. Yeah, we had an experience with the uh, troopers here and it was pretty bad. Yeah, I'm sure. With, yeah. Uh, we had a... Uh, there's a CBD store that opened and I bought some CBD product there and they tried to arrest me for having cannabis even though I had the receipt, all the test results, everything from just literally 45 seconds ago. Really? It was nuts. Wow. Wow. It was nuts. Well, watch right. your back. Thanks, man. Right on, man. Yeah, thank you. Keep doing Stay what you're safe. Doing. Is this your son? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's my son, too. Nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you. You guys kind of like my name's police Jason. The police the police. That's <laughs> what we do, man. Yeah. yeah. Yep. My Thanks son's sure. my son's channel is watching the watchman. Go to YouTube and check out Watching the Watchman. You'll see these videos up tomorrow. Right on. I'll All right, brother. Out, man. Thank you. you got a good dad there, man. Thanks. How are we going, guys? All right, buddy. Take care. Well, all right, guys. Um, <laughs> a lot of uh, lot of not so nice words in this one, but these guys are a bunch of clowns. Unbelievable. Um, as I stated, um, I figured I was being respectful. We walked up, stopped at the back of their car, and asked if I could walk through. Um, you saw what happened. They just decided they were gonna be fools. Uh, very interested in hearing what you guys have to say in the comments as usual. Um, I mean, just what a mess here in Pocatello. And I'm gonna strongly invite anyone who has any issues with what you just saw or uh, just is not happy with what you just saw or feel like you need to address what you just saw, please 
feel free to seek redress with the Pocatello Police Department. I'm gonna leave their contact information in the description. And, uh, you know, as I always say, keep it respectful. No yelling, no screaming, uh, but just give them a call and let them know what you think. You have every right to re seek redress with your government and we encourage you to do that. Um, but that's it. So really not much left to say. Um, I always like to throw in there, if you enjoy these videos and you like what we do, please feel free to share, subscribe, comment, like. All that stuff helps our channels out tremendously. Uh, it doesn't cost you a penny. And uh, I invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. And uh, I'll leave a link to uh, his channel in the description as well. For those of you who don't know, he's my son. Uh, so I'd love you to support him as well. So for now, coming to you from Pocatello, Idaho. Amagansett Press, watching a watchman, and Mrs. AP, and my car. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Amagansett Press, out.